Okay, good morning, everyone. Good to see everyone here. Good morning, Jing Ting, E, Jason, John, FMC. Good to see everyone here today. Uh, today, event is open to the public. Uh, hi, Edmund, Chia, Bun Singh. Okay, good to, good to see everyone here. Let's get started. Um, Okay, let's get started. Uh, first thing first, uh, welcome to today's Monday morning entertainment. Okay, this all these are for entertainment purpose, not advice to buy and sell. That yes, if you understand. Okay, for members of the public, we do this every week uh, for our SMT graduate. Uh, so sometimes uh, we will open this up to uh, public. Like if you are watching this on Facebook Live, means you are... Uh, yeah, if you're watching this on Facebook Live, means we open this uh, weekly meeting to the public. Okay, so um, okay, let's get started. Um, first thing first, what well, last week? Last week there is a, a talk of no, not talk of war. There's actually war started. Okay, war already started, and how it affect the markets. Actually, markets. Uh, last week I posted on. Uh, Facebook about war. Do you all see that Facebook post about war? You know, like uh, before the before the top, the top of war, right? You know, when we when we talk talk about war, you know, market will go down. But but what happened when the war start? You know, when the war start, then market rebound. Yes or no? I already posted that uh, last few uh, war. What happened? You know, buy on the invasion anybody see that post type me if you saw that post okay so yeah so uh that is that is uh what's happening okay on uh thursday i think the war started market gap down and then after that last two days market recovered okay now let's take a look at the ta part okay let's look at the ta part uh first let's look at s&p 500 uh weekly charts this are uh, s&p 500 weekly charts so um but when we talk about buy on invasion and things like that, this is not so much technical analysis. This is more of like principles, okay? When market happen, war time, what happened and things like that. It's more principle, but it is not, it is not systematic because uh, there isn't an a exact entry price, there isn't an exact uh, stop loss price, there isn't a target price. Yes or no? That yes, if you understand. So when you want to trade, right, the idea is to be more systematic lah, when we come to the come to the market, whether is it long-term or short-term, you want to approach the market more systematically, okay? So that's the reason why uh, we use the system uh, rather than uh, just based on uh, buy on invasion kind of thing, okay? So uh, market right now, uh, last two weeks, three weeks ago, actually, three weeks ago, there was a sell signal, okay? Uh, if you have uh, seen this uh, webinar, you will know that uh, there's a sell signal uh, three weeks ago, yes or no, okay? And then from there, we lock in about 40%, okay, right from when the candlestick turned blue, okay, red to blue, you buy, blue to red to sell, that is about 40% gain. This trade, uh, how many were in this trade? S&P 500 weekly charts, anybody? S&P 500 weekly charts, if you're in, type me, okay? So, um, yeah, so this is a weekly charts trend, okay? Uh, the time frame where we went in is about... Uh, June until uh, June 2012, all the way to uh, February this year. So it's about one and a half years. Okay, so we exit position right now for the long term. And for the next, if you want to buy or sell with uh, about, about one to two years at this moment, you exit first. Okay, type yes if you understand. Okay, so we exit first wait for the next uh, buy signal again. So the idea is to uh, buy the big trends, uh, okay, buy the big trends, okay, whether is it uh, uh, in 2016, you know, what? that's how many years ago, six years ago, right? 2016, you know, here or maybe here or here, okay. So these are not very frequent signals, okay, not very frequent signals. Like you see, in six years, we only have one buy, one sell, one buy, one sell, one buy, one sell. So it's like six signal 
in six years. Okay, so one year, one signal. Okay, so uh, these are not very long term uh, frequent signal. So the key to be uh, is to be cautious uh, at this moment. If you're long term, then be cautious. Let's, let's zoom it even further out. Uh. Let's say talk about last 10 years. Okay, last 10 years, we don't really have a lot of signals. You can see buy signal, sell signal, buy signal, sell signal, buy signal, sell signal. Okay, so don't, re don't really have a lot of signals. So I think the key is to, uh, um, if you want to write the big trend, I think right now at this moment, exit first. Uh, okay, uh, then the next question is, will it uh, recover? Okay, the answer, if you are systematic in your trading, then don't need to worry so much. When the market recover, then the buy signal will appear again. Make sense or not? Okay. Uh, uh, same go, if you go back to more than 10 years ago, it is the same, uh, whether buy and sell signal is the same. Okay, so I think that is the key. Okay, any question on one to two years? If you are clear, type yes, uh, understand. Or any question, if you have, type in the question. Thank you. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, uh, tonight I'm doing another. Facebook Live again because I find that uh, this awareness uh, I find that I lost a bit of the happiness uh, doing Facebook Live okay during the peak of COVID uh, we do a, I do a lot of Facebook Live yes and all uh, but because at the time the, the feeling is like hey we are in we are like in trouble right let's stick together and uh, let's maneuver out of the market do you follow what I'm saying okay uh, uh, and then I have that kind of feeling. Uh, but, but now when the market is stabilized or maybe now a bit challenging, but market is more or less stabilized for the last two years, then I lost a bit of that happiness to guide people. Uh. So but anyway, tonight we are having another Facebook Live. So uh, for people who cannot uh, join us, uh, that one will be not so much uh, uh, like managing portfolio and things like that. It will be more like chit-chatting about the market, you no. Know? If I can find any data, if you want to know, then I can find the data for you. Okay, maybe we can talk about the war again, okay? Okay, so it's tonight. Uh, is the Facebook, is on the Facebook page, okay? It's on the Facebook page, okay? Uh, do you understand what I mean by loss of the of fun? <laughs> okay, I, I, very, I like to do things if it's fun. Uh, if it's not so fun, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, tonight is this page. Okay. Uh, this page. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah. Tonight, seven thirty. Okay. Ask me anything about the market. Okay. But I think we have cycles. Uh, yes or no? Okay. It's in the public page. Okay. So invite your friends. Uh. Uh, invite your friends, invite people that can benefit from the... Anyway, my view is not 100% correct, right? In fact, can be wrong, right? So by just share, sharing my view, okay? So 7.30 at night, okay? So go to this Facebook page. Uh, you can uh, share with people about the event, okay? Uh, public also, please uh, share with them about the event tonight, okay? Uh, okay, I'm coming at SMP 500. Any question? Uh, by the way, have you all seen the sell signal uh, weekly charts SMP 500 sell signal three weeks ago? Type yes if you have seen the signal three weeks ago. Hey, in fact, every week I talk about this, right? Okay, so three weeks ago I mentioned that candlestick turn rate. Yes or not? Oh, so you all should uh, be more cautious. Uh, okay, next we go to uh, daily charts. Daily charts. So uh, again, so, so daily charts for this system, it three to nine months, okay? Three to nine months straight, we would have exited somewhere in uh, January, okay? January, okay? So January, uh, there was a sell signal, okay? Um, to sell, okay? So within the period of one year or two years, then you can see there are various trading position okay the previous trading position maybe since COVID, right you could you could go in out you know in out not everyone profitable in out but generally you'll be able to write the big trends 
type yes if you agree. Oh, so since COVID, you can three to nine months, you should be able to write some of the big trends. This one lost money. Okay, then this, then this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so uh, for shorting, right? Um, is um. For shorting, uh, maybe Nasdaq is better, okay, rather than S&P 500. Okay, you see some of the Nasdaq stock, stocks, all the uh, tech stocks, you can see the red arrows, yes or no? Okay, you see some of the tech stocks, uh, red arrows, bearish trend, okay, then those, this, those you can sell if you want. But I think right now, um, if you ask me, uh, uh, wait for buy signal better, okay, rather than sell. Oh? Wait for buy signal is better than short signal right now. Oh, okay. That means wait for the candle to bottom and turn up better. Okay. So uh SP 500 at least exit position. Yes or no? At least as a, if you don't short, at least exit position. For the last three weeks, there are some short signals, okay, uh, but not very strong short signals. Okay. So um, next we go to um, next we go to any question S and P five hundred okay so so if you are dot if you are doing a uh, dollar cost averaging um, my I will prefer to do what market last week I mentioned this right I will prefer to do Hang Seng market uh, better okay later I can go to Hang Seng and show you okay uh, China market maybe better than U S market okay. Okay, so let's go to Nasdaq. Okay, Nasdaq is weaker compared to uh compared to um S and P five hundred. Okay, you can see the weekly charts. Sell signal came out earlier. Yes or no? Sell signal came out about one month ago. Okay, one month ago sell signal came out. Okay, so you can see from here, one month ago sell signal came out. So we lock in the gains. Whatever we bought. Uh, after COVID in April 2020, we exited. Right now, it's about 63%, 65%, we exit, okay? So that's how we uh, trade uh, for long term, one to two years, okay? Some of you all join me this period, yes or no? Anybody was here during 2020 webinar when the buy signal came out? That me, you were, you were here, okay? Okay, so uh, question is how to see the strength of trend. Uh, these two questions I'll answer later, Ken. Um, how many were here in 2020? Nobody here. <laughs> Cannot be here. Okay, because we are like 300 of you all. Sure, we all should be here, right? Okay. Uh, I thought 2021, sorry, 2021. 2021. 2020 don't have, I mean, don't have live portfolio yet. 2020, 2021. Okay. Okay. So uh, question, uh, um, how to see the strength by strong signal, okay? How to see the strength of buy strong signal, okay? So when go to here, you can see that um, this part, say example, uh, this arrow, oh, this arrow here, you can see strength of trend, strong, okay, see? arrow with teeth, okay? This arrow over here, strong, okay? So these two arrows over here, strong, arrow with teeth. This two arrow over here, weaker, okay? This two arrow over here, weaker. This one strong because arrow with teeth. This one strong arrow with teeth, okay? So same thing, you can apply that to S&P 500 also. So you go to S&P 500, uh, you can use the same thing. You look at the teeth to uh, see whether the strength of the trend, okay? So in the beginning of the move, uh, the strength may not be strong, okay? It may be later part, sometimes uh, it will be later part. So let's say example here, uh, this one right at the beginning, strong, strong already, okay? Then this one is weak, 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 then weak again, then strong again. So this is the second time already, okay? So, uh, on the other flip side uh, is also true. Uh. So let's say example, when the strength is, when the stock is going up or the index is going up. So this part is weak. So we see that no teeth over here. Okay. And then eventually uh, first teeth over here. 
Okay, then after that, subsequently over here. Oh. Okay, then later part, right? In the later part of the wave, then this part, no strength again. Oh. Clear? Okay, so uh, okay, so another question is how to buy the index. You can buy the SPY. Okay, again, Google uh, SPY is one. There are many other ETF. Okay, uh, that you can look at them. Okay, SPY. So uh, then for uh, Nasdaq is QQQ. We can look at QQQ. Okay, Nasdaq for ETF. Okay, uh, there's one VOO. Okay. VO is Vanguard one. Okay, so if you do uh, longer term one, right? Not trading kind, then Vanguard is cheaper, okay? Compared to uh, the SPY, okay? Okay, so um, any question? Jin uh, Rong, hope you're in it. Jin Rong is in SMT, la. yeah, because this one is Zoom one, ma. Zoom one or SMT graduate. Facebook people, if I'm holding SMP 500, should I exit now? Okay, so come back to the question, right? Is what is your time frame? Because if you don't have time frame, uh, any answer can be correct. Do you follow what I'm saying? So, so when you ask the question, SMP 500 can hold or I should exit now, is and, and, and different time frame will give you different answer. Yes or no? Okay, let's say example, uh, Facebook user asks, right? If I'm holding S&P 500, should I exit now? Let's say, let's say example, right? The, the question is, I am long-term. I am buying for the long-term investment. Can I? Should I exit S&P 500? And no need, lah, because if you're long-term, then just hold on to S&P 500. If let's say you are one to two years, then maybe you exit first, you can trade. Maybe the market can go down, you can trade it. It means one to two years, you can trade it. It means when the, if they go down and come back later, you can trade it. If you're three to nine months, then you should have exit earlier already. You, know, you, should, should, you can trade it also. Do you follow what I'm saying? So when you look at the, any stock or any markets, uh, you must first ask yourself is, what is my time frame? Because the answer is different. Do you follow what I'm saying? Type yes if you understand. Hey, Mr. Tan, how come you are outside? Join the Zoom. Okay. 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 So, uh, so you understand what I'm saying? So it is different. Let's say, example, you say uh, Bitcoin can buy or not. It was kind of time frame. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Okay. Can buy. Let's say, example, you say that the day they talk about Hang Seng, right? Hang Seng can buy. Where's my Hang Seng? Uh, Hang Seng, October. Can buy or not? If you are more than two years, if you are long term, then can buy in October, okay? Because you can, and you can continue to buy, okay? We've got six months to buy, okay? But if you say that I want to trade within the one, two years, uh, within, the, uh, within one year, within one year, then can you buy in October? Maybe not, uh, because uh, uh, you're more of a trading position. Okay, you're short term, then you look at the system trading position again. Okay? Do you follow what I'm saying? So use the system to help you to decide whether you should be buying or selling. I think that is less emotional and will get you better results. Yes or no? Okay. Okay, so next, uh, Hang Seng Index. Hang Seng Index. How many bought Hang Seng Index so far? Like me, if you bought Hang Seng Index. Okay, so Hang Seng Index, like right now, you say Hang Seng Index October. This is a long term, okay? One to two years buy more when drop, okay? So the idea is uh, to buy cheap, okay? It's not to buy expensive, okay? It's to buy cheap. So let's give the context uh, of that tr this trade, okay? One to two years, okay, one to two years. Uh, one to two years, don't need to look at daily charts or look at weekly charts. One to two years, right now at, uh, at this moment, it is value. Uh. Do you feel like I'm saying here, uh, uh, Asian financial crisis, SARS, global financial crisis, don't know what crisis, and COVID, and now. Do you follow what I'm saying? So right now, at this moment, it is value. As a uh, Hang Seng Index, it's value where you can buy it. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, so that is the answer for long term. Okay, for one year to two years, can you buy right now? What do you think? Cannot, lah, because the signal is still red. Yes or no? Type yes if you understand the signal is still red, still cannot buy. Within one, one to two years, still cannot buy. 
Then short term, can you buy or not? Uh, three to nine months, can you buy or not? Also not yet, because the moat is still bearish. Okay, the moat is still bearish. All the while from here, all the way to here, the moat is bearish. Okay, so do you understand the context right now? It's important when you approach the market. Okay, very long term, can buy now. Okay, in fact, you can slowly, slowly buy. Okay, you don't need to buy everything at this moment. You can buy. Uh, I think you've got another three months to buy. Okay, three months to buy. So from October onwards, you've got about three months, uh, six months. Okay, so now, now it's uh, February, uh, October. Yeah, maybe two to three months uh, to buy. Okay, that will be long term. One to two years, then don't buy. Okay, uh, then shorter than that, then also don't buy. Wait, wait for signal to appear. Okay. Do you follow what I'm saying? Uh, all, not all index, okay? So I will prefer Hang Seng index. Not all index, huh? Not all index. Because if you look at um, S&P 500, it's not like this. It, it's not like crisis level price. Okay, if you look at NASDAQ or NSP 500, it is not a crisis level price. Huh? Okay, so uh, do you follow what I'm saying? So it is... Uh, not a buy for me. Okay. Make sense? Type yes if it makes sense. Okay. So uh for Hang Seng Index, what ticker 282800? Okay. How to determine how got how long to buy? It's just I mentioned already, what? <laughs> Bro, weekly charts, weekly charts, tr position trading one to two years. Okay, actually in Trader GPS only got four, uh, SMT class only got four time frame. Okay, one to two years. Uh, we don't have longer than that one. Okay, one to two years, then uh, three to nine months, one to six months, and three to three to five days. Yes or no? Position weekly, position daily, swing weekly, swing daily. Got it? And using what you have in mind to take action. So you read the charts, then you take the action. One to two years, position weekly. Okay. Three to nine months, position daily. One to six months, swing weekly. Three to five days, swing daily. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay. So use the, like a GPS or that. It tells me what, then I do what. Make sense or not? Okay. Then how about, Colin, this kind of now you talk about like this kind, uh, Hang Seng Index. This kind, no system. Huh? Do you follow what I'm saying? This kind of not a system. Type yes if you understand. It's not a system. It's just like, oh, rich value a buy. Okay. And it's not like exactly at what price to buy. Do you follow what I'm saying? You don't have like exactly at what price. You just buy as a script bottom. Okay. But generally, if you look at crisis, if you look at crisis, whether is it in um, uh, Asian financial crisis, uh, in SARS or whatever, the crisis usually lasts how long? I mentioned this before, right? It's about six months, okay? So reach the level, then you buy, really, okay? Then how do you exit? Ayo, to think of not new people, huh? how do you exit? How do you exit? Uh, reach here, then you exit. <laughs> do you follow what I'm saying? Also buy here, sell here. Lah, huh? So... Let's move on. Eh? I know why today got new, new people because today new batch came and joined us. Okay, how many are new in SMT class? Like me, if you're new in SMT class. Like last weekend, we just joined one. Okay, so some of you are new. Okay, so no wonder so many questions. Okay, so uh, same thing STI. Okay, STI, Asian financial crisis, SARS, global financial crisis, COVID, and in COVID time, during COVID time, uh, STI April, can you see? Somewhere here in April, we mentioned, uh, yeah, somewhere in April, oh, can you see that? How many still holding this position? Type me, we're still holding this position in April. So we are still holding, right? So this is crisis period buy, okay? This crisis period. No signal one, no signal one. That means, uh, uh, Candlestick haven't turned blue yet. Okay, so if you're more than two years, then buy now, okay, during uh, April. Uh. But if you are more less than one to two years, then you should buy here. Type yes if you understand, buy here. Type yes if you understand. When the candlestick 
turn from red to blue, then you buy here. Type yes, if you understand, one to two years, then you buy there, okay? Then if you are even shorter term, then you use the daily charts. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, so the context is important. Okay, so right now, STI maybe like, I think is maybe past 50% already. Okay, when past 50%. Okay. Type yes, if you understand. So uh, when to sell, maybe when it reach here. Or maybe when it reach here, I'll sell already. Reach some, I'll sell some here, sell some here. Because I hold this position long, quite long time, right? Okay. How to join your Zoom class? Ayo, it's in the Facebook group, eh? Okay. It's in the Facebook group. You all know, right? Every uh, week you go to the Facebook group, you can see the link here. Then the Zoom link is here. Lah, oh. hey, by ping also outside. <laughs> How come you all go outside? <laughs> okay. Join here. <laughs> Join the Zoom class. Okay. Anyway, it's live, okay? Uh, by the way, tonight is not Zoom. Uh, tonight is uh, on stream, yeah, okay? Guys, okay, guys? Is it okay? Type yes if you understand. Any question on the index? No question, huh? No question? Okay, let's move on, okay? Uh, next, let's go to any other index. Uh, MBM, I know you all want to see KL one, okay? Okay, this is KL. This is the extreme, okay? This one is the extreme, okay? So right now, again, KL is back to, KL is back to our level already, okay? So KL, I also put in, okay? Uh, if you trade KL, okay? If you trade KL, uh, one to two years, buy more when you're correct, okay? Actually, I should not put one to two years. I should put two, more than two years, okay? Because one to two years is position weekly, right? Okay, so um, I think right now in January, we got in somewhere in January. I don't know when, okay? We got in and see, uh, watch the position, uh, okay? For weekly charts, a really turn, okay? We really turn, turn back to blue color, okay? And daily charts, you could see yourself, uh, okay? Um. Okay, any question, KL? Then uh, for Dow Jones, Dow Jones should be the same. Uh. Okay, Dow Jones should be the same. Right. Only trade, people trade Dow Jones. Uh, okay, so it should be the same uh, one to two years exit ready. Uh, so weekly position exit ready. Then wait for the next buy signal again. Okay, okay? so guys, um, the challenge uh, is like that. Sometimes when you plan, uh, I want to do this, I want to do this. But when the thing happen, right, a lot of people don't do one. Do you follow what I'm saying? So let's say example, when the candlestick turn red and then turn back to blue, right? When the candlestick turn red exit, right? when the candlestick turn back to blue, uh, a lot of people don't enter back again. Oh, that's the challenge, okay? So uh, when the next time they appear again, take action, uh, okay? That's the key. Um, Nikkei. Nikkei, this is Nikkei 225. Uh, still stuck in the box. Uh, okay. Remember the, the stuck in the box thing? Okay. I think it's still stuck in its box. Uh, okay. Don't know. I think it's sideways trend trading. Uh, so sideways. Okay. And next one, last one is Nifty. Okay. Nifty sell signal came out already. Okay. Sell signal came out. Okay. I don't know if An Ankit still around or not because Ankit last time always asked me about SM uh, Nifty Fund. Okay, so sales signal came out that time is when candlestick. The, I, I share with them because he, I, for the whole year he keep asking, hey, can sell, can sell. So when the candlestick break below the dotted red line, I asked to exit. If you didn't exit, then now candlestick turn red, you should exit. Uh, oh, so that is the method. Okay. Next, we, we go to uh, individual stocks, okay, guys? So we have one position, one new position today. Uh, so uh, for public, uh, for public, um, please like and share the post if you can. Um, like and share the post. If 
you want to join us in our SMT class, be part of our community, join us here. Okay. Every uh in our SM for our SMT graduate, we they have this system that allow them to uh it's like the GPS that allow them to get in and out of the market using the system, so more systematic, more systematic in going to the market. And then every week we will do a webinar also. So we follow through with the uh, whatever we talk about, okay? So uh, on top of that, we have our graduates group, okay? We have a graduates group where people will interact over here. And then uh, there are other things, uh, okay? What are, the, uh, what are the other things uh, that you, SMT, okay? What are the other things that, what are the other benefits of SMT? Do you know SMT graduates? What are the other benefits of joining SMT? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, master class, okay, master class, okay. So, self uh, will okay. Uh, we have our master classes, okay. Uh, triple screen trading. Uh, last week, at, uh, last month, I did, okay. Opportunity semiconductor done by Royston. Strong stock in Dow Day done by Mark. Mentor game of trading by me. Uh, crypto also have, you know, CFD also have, you know, so a lot of other training. La. All these are free, okay? I think the, the for me, the, the effort is really not just uh, conducting a three days class, isn't it? It's also about our weekly webinar, you know, and holding and things. I think that is very important, okay? And then in the Facebook group, they also have uh, uh, other trainings, uh, okay? Like chart of the day, we have like, Chart a day, you know, and then we also have the option series. Hey, uh, recently, uh, Royston did this, you know, the stock, how to do stock entries and things like that. For those that are using Thing or Swim, you can watch this training also. Okay, guys, so come and join us in our SMT. Type in SMT if you recommend SMT to members of public. Thank you. Thank you, Roslyn, Faith, Nadi, Charmaine. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so um, it is not a perfect community. La. No, no training, no course is perfect. La, okay, but we keep hold, we keep doing that. We keep getting better. Okay, hopefully we will never reach perfection. La, okay, but uh, we keep doing. Okay, so that's the key. Okay, so today we have one stock NTR. How many holding NTR uh, for swing? Type in NTR, type in NTR for swing. Uh, Elvin holding, what else? Okay, uh, Acharan, Acharawan holding. Okay, so NTR swing, right? Uh, we will talk about swing later, but now it's position, right? Position daily, we have a signal, okay? We have a signal to a trade, okay? So first arrow here, okay? First arrow here, this is the second arrow, okay? This is the second arrow for our trade, okay? Like, yes, if you can see that, okay? So if you can draw a box, you can draw a box. So this is the box that was in, okay? It is out of the box. Yes or no? That yes, if you understand, it's out of the box. So the market very uh, cute one, okay? The market move in boxes, okay? So you can like see this, okay? This is a box, you know, market move in steps, okay? Move in steps. It will be even clearer, we go to weekly charts, you can see that the market actually move in a step. Can you see this dotted red line? Oh, it move in step. Okay, so percentage of trade, I think go to our training, okay guys? Because Angel, because uh, different time frame, different risk, different risk percentage, okay? Uh, all come for a refresher class. In premium members area, go to refresher. Okay, uh, refresher, refresher class in here. Okay. Uh, position daily, yes. So this one, right? Um, during the during the congestion period, uh, is noisy one. Okay, so like example here is noisy. Uh, here is noisy. But usually out of the out of the um, congestion, uh, should be okay. Okay. Out of the congestion should be okay. Okay, so this part right, it will be noisy, but once it's out, then I think it's okay. Okay. 
next, um, of course, there's no 100%, uh, okay? Uh, just manage your trade. Oh yeah, just, just to share with you all one thing is this, uh, okay? Mm, do you think I should share this right now? Okay, let's just share this. Uh, okay, so this system, right, comes in two ways, okay? If you look at, um, if you look at the system, this is what we call a breakout trade, okay? Like, like this, this is a breakout trade. That means price breakout of the dotted red line, a dotted black line, breakout trade. Then there is what we call a retracement trade, a pullback trade. A pullback trade will be something like this when the price pull back, okay? So on the pullback trade, on the pullback trade, sometimes the com will be, uh, the teeth will be below zero. On the breakout trade, it will be above this, okay? So for some people, they feel like, hey, how come every time breakout already, it will pull back, okay? After breakout already, it will pull back. So if you do not want to trade breakout, then you trade pullback. Uh. And how you true trade pullback is uh, back to our class, uh, okay? Whether you're using swing or using uh, position, you use it to enter on the pullback, okay? So it de depends on how you want to do it, okay? For the more advanced, I think go to refresher class, I think we will cover that, okay? Refresher class in November. Maybe we should do another refresher class already, okay? But yes, if you all want another refresher class, maybe in March, uh, we'll do another refresher class, okay? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so if you don't have teeth, then you go to, that's why there's so many things uh, that we can talk about, okay? You go to the Viber, okay, SMT Viber guide, how to enter without green arrow with teeth, okay? How to enter without green arrow with teeth, then you understand how the system works, okay? Okay, I think I'll do one in March, okay? We'll do one more refresher in March, okay? Because sometimes the seniors are no need to come for three days, uh, you know? Three days is, uh, uh training is too time consuming, uh, okay? Because some, most of y'all will know how the system works more or less, isn't it? So just do a three hour, you know, cram in everything you all know already. Yes or not? Okay. I, I, at least for me, I, I don't to spend another three days to attend the course again. So then the same three hours intensive one is better. Okay. So then the refresher class, I think even the, during this refresher class, I touched a bit on the system, how the system works, how the system come about and things like that. So I will cover this again. Okay in the next refresher class. Okay, so, um, wow. dotted red line, dotted black line is the support resistance. Ah. Okay, dotted red line, dotted red line. Support resistance. Okay, guys, uh, let's move on. I think today a bit slow. Ah. Okay, let's move on. Uh, sorry ah, for, the, for, the, for the seniors. I don't know today it's so slow. <laughs> okay, because today a lot of new people. Okay, let's look at Sierra. CLR, okay. Candlestick turn rate. How many got CLR? Type me if you have CLR. Oh, I'll type CLR, I got CLR. Uh, if, if you're not exited, uh, I think no need to exit. Okay, uh, sorry, I, I teach you all break the rules. Uh, okay. But I think no need to exit, okay. Uh, wait for it to break below the dotted red line. Uh. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, type yes if you understand. For our portfolio, uh, for our portfolio, I need to be systematic because if not, uh, then no system, okay? Uh, so, so I'll take up. Do you follow what I'm saying? But for you, uh, if you want to, if, if you are not exited, then wait for, can, wait for price to break below the dotted red line to exit, okay? Because I think this is part of the consolidation. Uh, it's like pullback, pull back, pull back, okay? It's part of the consolidation. Of course, if it break below the low, break below this low, I think should exit. Do you follow what I'm saying? Type yes, if you understand, okay? By right, you should FTS that. I will take out, I will take out this one, okay? I will take out this one. So this one, I will exit with a loss, okay? Type yes, if you understand, okay? Any question on this? 
type good. If you have no question, if you have question, can ask. If you have CLR, can ask. Why is it so? It's because uh, I feel that now it's testing support. Okay, and the last two days because of war, I think the price knee jerk reaction. Uh, you know, knee jerk reaction means suddenly jerk down, right? So I think here is good support. If you break below the support, then you can exit. Uh. But if it doesn't break below the support, then hang on. Okay, but my portfolio, I will exit because I need to follow the system exactly. Uh. Okay, next one is AA. Uh, AA. Auto Alcoa, how many holding AA? Type me in AA if you're holding AA. Okay, so uh, right now about up 19%, still hold on. Uh. Okay, type in AA if you hold AA. Okay, we got in somewhere in uh, in fourth, seven, uh, seven, seven, seven February. Okay. What ah? Okay. I think sometimes we sell hot, loud, loud, also price come down. We sell soft, soft, also go down. Then we sell loud, loud better. <laughs> okay. At least for fun. I think the, the key uh, is sometimes we hot, we sell hot, uh, people for more. How many like that? Okay, like, 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 yeah, we sell hot, I better hot also. I, I, will, I will want to go in now. Okay, then that's the, that's the challenge. Uh, okay. Because everybody said hot, then say, oh, I missed the 19% return. Uh. Then I'm going going now. Don't uh, guys, okay? Uh, follow the system, okay? Next one, HES. HES, somebody holding HES. Hey, where is that? Who are? Uh? Is it Zach? Is it Zach? Everything also have one. <laughs> Zach, is it Zach? Uh? I think it's Zach, right? I say, who have uh, this one? HES. Do they never join us? Okay. HES. Who is holding HES? Ban, ban Ho. Okay. Okay. So um, I think I think this is uh, also good. Okay. Um, it's testing resistance. Yes or no? It's, in fact, uh, it's a bit outside the resistance. Yes or no? Type yes, if you can see that. It's outside my daughter red line. Uh, close above the red line. So it's good or no good? Good lah, oh, good lah, okay. Uh, Coco asks, can I still buy AA? Uh, don't need lah, today got new stock to buy, right? In, in NTR, right? Okay. Okay, so hang on, let's see how it goes to today's. Uh, CNQ, how many holding CNQ, type in CNQ. I think my challenge uh, is I only do this once a week. Okay, by right, you're supposed to do this how often? Every day, you're supposed to do it. Okay, you're not supposed to do it once a week. Okay, you're supposed to do it every day. Okay, so we entered right uh, on here. Okay, right now, slight profit. You're supposed to do daily, uh, not, not, not supposed to do once a week. So hang on. I think all this looks like on the verge of breaking out. Can you all see that? Type yes, you can see that. On the verge of breaking up all this. Hey, by the way, uh, can you all see that um, most of these are oil or resource related or commodity related? Yes or no? Oh, so um, some of these are on the verge of breaking up. Okay. Next is DISC, DIS, DISCK. How many holding DISCK? DISC, or oh, Banho, so everything else have. Okay. Yeah, CK. Uh, I think this one uh, will be how to say will be challenging. Okay. Uh, we got in 17 January. Uh, 17 January here. Seventeen January is uh here. We got in here. Okay, right now, price here, here. Actually, if you ask me this one, I'm better to do what? Long term. Yeah. Really, really. Okay, better to do long term. Oh, why? Because when it goes up, uh, it will not go up in straight line. Do you follow what I'm saying? It may have this resistance here, right? <coughs> it may test again. Oh, 
it may test here again. So when price go up, it may test here again. Oh. So if you're holding, I think better if too long term. But anyway, we will follow the system. Lah. Okay. Next, uh, weekly swing NTR, how many holding? A A sorry, weekly swing. APH, how many doing weekly swing on APH? Type me, uh, type APH if you're doing weekly swing. APH. So uh, not exit yet. Uh. Type yes if you understand. Uh, the the short lock, uh, stop loss is here. Dynamic stop loss. No, no. Dynamic stop loss one. Okay. Not exit yet. Uh. Okay, here. This line. Do you follow what I'm saying? Type yes if you understand. No need to shift down the no need to shift down the stop loss but the stop loss is here slightly below this one slightly below this one oh so that will be the stop loss not exit uh didn't exit uh, last few days okay next one is a a n t how many swing trade a n t or no seldom do swing trade uh? type in a n t if you are hold a a a t r where the a n t called a t r anybody swing on a t r Type in ATR. So we swing on the 21st. I think it's this week, 21st, 24th. This week. Right now, break resistance. Um, hang on. Uh, okay. Uh, you can lock in some profit on the next bearish candle on the weekly chance. Okay. If you are doing a NTR swing. Okay. Next one, MSFT. Microsoft, how many holding MSFT? Nobody, I think should have, right? Okay, so again, stop loss not triggered. Huh? Stop loss is here, slightly below here, not triggered. Okay, so not triggered. Okay, a stop loss should be here. Okay, next, this one should how many percent risk from here, entry to stop loss here, how many percent risk of your capital? Let's say at $10,000, this is $500. Okay, $500, 5%. Okay. Okay, finish all the swing. Uh, long term anything you wanna see? Long term anything you need to see? Type in the what you need to see for long term. Ten cents. Ah, uh, ten cents. Not bad, right? Ah, uh, ten cents. Oh. I think it reached the good level already. Okay, if you ask me, uh, okay, it reached good level already. Oh, so you can see price going up, coming down, reach back the support level. I think it's good level already. Oh, type yes if you can see. Quickly charts, huh? So if you draw this line. Things start from here. Oh, I think it's a good level to buy already. 10 cents. Got it? Type yes if you can see that. It never come back so after so long, you know. You can see you not. Know, we got in in July 2020. Oh, July 2020 was uh, here. Hey, no, 2019, 2020 July is here. Can you see? Oh, from here, we go up and then come back down to this price already. Oh, so it's a good chance to buy. Okay. If you are trading, then follow the system. Lah. Okay. If you are trading one year, then you follow the system. When can I take rate, you exit. Then when can I take blue, you buy back in. Okay. Ten cents, any question? No question, Apple, not long-term stock. AG, AG, all this, I think, uh, on the verge also, okay? On the verge, can you see? I like to look at AG, uh, not this one, okay? Uh, you can look at the swing trade like that, but I like to see AG uh, on the monthly chart. 
Okay, if you see Monday chart, this is like good. Lah. Okay, good level. Uh, if you will see PSLV, PS, PSLV, okay, monthly chart, good level. Oh, good level to buy. Okay, you can see from here, this was the price down, 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 down. This is downtrend, this sideway trend, this beginning of our trend, okay? Beginning of our trend. So this one, monthly chart, one candle, one mana, okay? So reach back to the, the value already, okay? Wow, so many stock. Hong Kong, Hong Kong land. Uh, Hong Kong land is H78, I think. H78. All this, I think, reach uh, beyond the value already. Oh, Hong Kong land was um, July 2020. Okay. Uh, somewhere in here, July. So right now is about 50% already. Oh, so from here, July, August. 2020 until now, now it's about 50%. It's very funny, right? When, when it's July time, ask to buy, uh, sometimes people don't buy one. Okay, like now uh, people want to buy. Very cute. <laughs> okay. So you must buy for this kind of thing, right? The key is to like buy more when drop and dollar cost averaging. You don't do momentum trading. Uh. Do you follow what I'm saying? Type yes if you understand. So this kind is you want. Ideally, yeah, uh, you want to look for it to drop, 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 then go up like that. That's the ideal for all this position. Uh. Okay. The day somebody asked me this some Sam Corp, why I do dollar cost averaging on Sam Corp. Somebody asked me, right? It's because I started in April, I think. April, no, no, April 2020. Monday chart too long. Okay, uh, let's do weekly charts. Is it is it April? I think it's April. I don't really see one. Uh, uh, April 2020. I change. Uh, okay, I change. Somewhere here. Oh. Yeah, somewhere here. Uh, April. So ideally, what you want to do is you want to, because you're doing dollar cost averaging, right? Then what you do is every month drop is better. Then when you recover back, you already make money already. Then from there, go up. Uh, it's all good already. Do you all follow what I'm saying? 820202. This is 2019. Wrong, ah, huh? wrong on this one. 2020. Hey, 2021 or 2020? Anyway, okay, anyway, you want it to, I think it's 2021. My mistake, ah, huh? 2021. So you want it to come down, then go up, right? That, that is ideally what you want to do for dollar toss averaging. You do not want it to go one direction up because if you do one direction up, as you go up higher, you buy lesser stock. Okay, but if you go down, you buy more, buy more, buy more. You go up, even even didn't reach back to your cost price, uh, you really make money. Do you follow what I'm saying? Of course, if if you break, it will make money. Uh, but let's say example dollar cost averaging uh, when you when you buy right, like this right when you the price goes down. When the price goes, let's say you are doing every month, right? You buy, right? So as the price goes down, you buy, 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 buy. And the price, no need to recover back to cost. I recover back to here. You wait accumulated because you're the accumulate position. Do you follow what I'm saying? You accumulate position, then eventually move up. Do you follow what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. You what you do not want uh, is it just go up one direction because if you go one direction, you just accumulate not enough. Uh, then you go up. Does it make sense? But your time frame must be long. La. If your time frame is short, then uh, you want to trade, then of course trade momentum. La. But if you are long, you want to accumulate enough position, then right for the big run. Do you follow what I'm saying? Rather than you, as you go high, then you buy, 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 then not good. La. When you come down already, you start to lose really. Does it make sense or not? Because if, if you are long term, you want to scrape bottom. La. You don't want to you don't want to trade momentum. Does it make sense? Hello? You want to script the bottom, like, like all this is script bottom one. Very okay, script bottom. Okay, so um how come long? Uh, I think should exit. Uh. This one, sorry, this one should exit. Uh. Should change uh. position. This one should read really. Didn't change. Okay, thanks for reminding me. 
red and red ready. Position we also read, huh? Okay. Y'all know, right? Okay. Uh four five dot hk. H hk. When when it was in July that time, right? I guess not a lot of able to action. I guess lah. I don't know whether it's true, okay? But July last year, right? Here, right? July. You accumulate, then you can accumulate about six months. Uh, oh? Then when the price go up, you make weight. Make sense or not? Oh? That's what you want to do. But now this price not even hit, not even hit halfway yet. Do you follow what I'm saying? Not even halfway yet, okay? And this is halfway line, and then it will reach fully valued later. Oh, so not yet, lah. Okay, not even halfway there. But you will, if you accumulate, you definitely will be in profit. Make sense or not? Oh, um. So the concept here is a bit different from the concept here. Can you see the difference? The concept here is, I don't want it to go up immediately. Even like, like KL or, or Hong, Hang Seng, all this, uh, I don't want it to go up immediately. I want it to like stay at least six months to a year low. Then it go up and then make money. Make sense or not? That, that is what I want to do. Uh, okay. Long-term team, uh, oil going up, commodity going up. Okay. Long-term inflation up. Uh, this inflation are uh, a bit challenging. No? A bit challenging because... Uh, now with the war, uh, even more challenging because should the central bank increase interest rate with the war happening, but inflation is increasing. So what should the what should the central bank do? Okay, the ideally, uh, I, I I mentioned this before. I mentioned this before. Before interest rate rise, before interest rate rise, everybody is what. Before interest rate rise, like a uh, talk of inflation, interest rate rising, right? Everybody is what? Yeah, going to rise. I don't know where going to rise 0.25 or 0.5. Everybody is what? Fearful because uncertainty. Like, yes, if you understand uncertainty, I don't know whether should, what should the central bank do. Once it increase, once it increase uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, then what will happen? Uncertainty become certainty already. Then market will rise. Same for the war. Do you follow what I'm saying? Talk about the war. We're gonna go to war, going to go to war, uncertainty. But once the first fire, first bullet fire, bang, boom, you know, then it's the time to buy. Do you follow what I'm saying? So this month, next month, I've got a chance to, to tap to, to buy on knee jerk reaction. Do you follow what I'm saying? That yes, if you understand, it is you want to buy on the rejoin ratio, whether is it increased interest rate or war, this is the chance to take into buy, okay? Hedge, I change it, huh? usually it's hedge 40%, now I hedge 30%. That means over the last uh, one, uh, one week, right, accumulate more, huh? it means less, uh, less cash, more invested, if you're long-term. Huh? Do you follow what I'm saying? Like, yes, if you understand. Uh, I have posted the one about the war one already. Uh, yes or no? Build up and things like that. Okay, so please go and uh, 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 see that 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 data. Okay, which the data? So invasion, right? Invasion. Okay. So where is the one? Uh? Posted by me. Hey, don't have a. Uh. When was the post uh, on the invasion? Uh? Go and watch that one, you know, go and see that one. It is, it is, it is a very helpful. Do you follow what I'm saying? So when the war happened, then what should you do and things like that? So take a look, okay? Uh, three months later, six months later, uh, one year later, after war happened, what is the results? Got it? But yes, if you understand, 
this kind of thing, right? Don't have system, don't have system, uh, don't have system because um, the system, the position weekly or position daily will come out later. Do you follow what I'm saying? Like, yes, if you understand, it will come out later. It will not come up on the in invasion. So bottom line, sell the build up by the invasion, okay? As the market bottom just before the guns is fired. Got it? Ming Pai Ma? Market bottom at the invasion just, just before five out of five in the previous time. Like, yes, if you understand, this is the build up, this is the invasion, build up invasion, okay? All the different wall, okay? And then um, the other one is here, okay? All the global, global crisis. Uh. So uh, let's talk about war one, right? Um, war uh, September 11. After three months later, up market up 24%. After six months later, up 30%. After one year, drop 1%, okay? But average, uh, all this crisis, right? When the when the news appear, okay, when it's on the headlines, uh, let's say example September eleven attack, on the day you take action, right? Three months later, it up eleven percent. One year, uh, six months later, up fifteen percent. One year later, up twenty four percent. Do you follow what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, you will see a uh, per apple attack or per apple attack quite a lot. Okay, because very long, uh, Okay. Right, you all see an average. This is the this is the returns. Okay, got it. But yes, if you understand, when you buy on that day of the announcement, uh, uh usually will not have signal. Uh, okay, will not have signal. The signal will come out maybe like one month later. Okay, one month later than vaccine. Okay, guys. Any other question? So our hedge position has been in hedge for forty percent for quite some time. Oh, hedge forty percent for quite some time. Uh, right now we are more invested. Okay, compared to let's say last few months. Okay, cannot. Please don't go and see a war in a war happening. Sell everything and put in cash. But yes, if you understand, this is not good. Okay, not good. Ah, huh? news confused. Okay, news confused. Remember, ah, uh, don't like I say. Example, they say uh recession fear. You know, or or COVID. Don't read the news. Ah, uh, then take the action. Like yes, if you understand, don't read the news then take the action. Too late already. Okay? What you should be doing is reverse. Uh, before the news happen, the rumor, you already sell already. When it happened, take action. Got it? But yes, if you understand, like interest rate like that, right? Now we'll talk about, oh, they want to increase. And again. So now it's uncertainty. Uh, okay? But once it announced already, uh, they take action. Uh. Okay, guys. How to determine when to hedge lower? Because I think some of the index, like Hang Seng Index, uh, KL Index, has reached good level. Lah. So you should, you, uh, in my view, right, you should be risky when other people are fearful and opposite. Lah. Do you follow what I'm saying? Not, not S&P index, huh? but for the Hang Seng index, for KL index, some of the other index, reach very good level to buy. Huh? Make sense or not? Hello? Okay, if not, then let's look at your individual stocks. Thank you, Ting Ting. Um, Microsoft already covered, yes or no? Microsoft already covered. Um, Microsoft. Uh, I think you are doing swing, right? Swing, no exit yet. Okay, no exit yet. You're doing position, uh, position daily through exit. Uh, already exit. Lah. Okay, sell signal already came out. Already. But swing, no exit. Got it? 
Position daily is position daily is sell already, yes or no? Since uh, here. Got it? Roslyn already sell already. Uh you mean you want to short Microsoft? Uh? Roslyn. Don't uh. don't don't short uh, okay. Okay. One, three, two. Okay, back to the question, right, Roslyn. Are you long term or short term or what term? You know, you must have time frame. Uh. If you're long term, then let's say you use position weekly to exit, then you exit. Uh. Oh, you got one, three, two already, right? One, three, two already, very low already, my crowd. One, three, two around here. So then you exit already, 100 over percent already. Then when the buy signal come out again, then you buy again. Uh. Okay, why? Because we do not know whether it will be something like uh, this. Like, I don't think so. Uh, will be something like this. The 33% or will be something that is recover after a while. Okay, like this. Got it? Then exit ready. Then if you come back, buy signal again, then you buy back again. Okay. NVIDIA, A and NVIDIA. Bottom line must have a system, uh, or whether you are buying or selling must have a system, system, whether to buy or sell. NVIDIA, what is the time frame? Never put time frame again. Uh, in the future, can you all put in the, what is the time frame? Because if not, I've got to answer all the different time frame. Position daily, is it? Position daily. Also exit ready, uh. yes or no? Type yes, if you can see that, since here, right? Already exit, since December. Okay, swing weekly, um, swing weekly. Maybe you got in here, still holding on. Okay, swing weekly. Still hold on. Uh. I think the stop loss will be here. Got it? So you are doing a swing. Uh. Got it? So position is exit here, swing is buy here. Can you all see that it's like same stock but different action? Position daily is, position daily, right? Is sell here at this part, this price here. Sell here. And then swing weekly, right? It's buy here. Yes or no? So you see, same stock I can do different things. Right? Okay. And then last one is Tesla. What's the time frame, Tesla? Tesla, what's the time frame? Don't know what's the time frame. Position swing, position weekly, sell signal. Okay, mark the low to exit. Got it? Mark the low to exit. Okay, position weekly. Okay. This is for how long? One year trade. Ah. Okay, one year trade. Okay, guys, I think um, tonight, remember, um, there is an event tonight, Facebook Live again. That we will chat more in detail. Uh. Maybe we can chat about the war. We can chat about the war. I can show you some uh, data. That means some charts. Uh, like we can maybe uh, maybe we can go back in time. Okay, we cannot too long. Uh. Let's go back in time here and check. Let's say Asian financial crisis. What happened three months later, six months later, one year later? You know, uh, uh, Russian crisis. Okay, what is the thing? You know, Lehman Brother. Then what's the thing? You know, then we can see how the market behave, okay, when this happened. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay. And then, oh yeah, we can also do inflation, okay? Inflation, 
in fact, I, I have done one, uh, I don't know whether it's still here or not. Uh. I've done one on inflation one. Uh, oh, it's not here. Lah. But um, I've done one on inflation one. That means if you plot in inflation and then plot in interest rate and then see uh, what happened. Okay, so from there, you can see uh, how inflation affects inflation affects uh, us, interest rate affect us, and um, CPI, how it affect us, and then from there, how the market behave. Okay, at the end of the day, it must be data-driven, uh, yes or no? Or it must be data-driven, it cannot be like, uh, read the news, uh. read news is the most unreliable, yes or no? Or, but if you can see uh, um, how interest rate behave, okay, whether is it uh, rising or falling, how inflation behave, whether it's rising or falling, then from there, you can see how the market behave. Got it? If you zoom out big enough, uh, it becomes very clear. If you zoom out long enough, uh, it becomes very clear. Okay? Like example, I talk about... Um, I talk about um, this before. When interest rate rise, your head is not very clear, but interest rate uh, rise, right? Uh, no matter, let's, let's do it tonight, okay? Let's do it tonight. Okay, when interest rate rise, generally stock market also what? When interest rate rise, stock market also rise. When interest rate rise, stock market rises, okay? So it's not, uh, it's not the opposite. Lah. In fact, in opposite is true, ah. Uh, where interest rate fall, interest rate fall, stock market also fall. Okay, you see. So if you zoom out long enough, uh, you can see the big trend. Oh, when interest rate go up, stock market go up. When interest rate goes down, stock market go down. When interest rate goes up, like here, uh, interest rate go up, stock market go up. When interest rate go down, stock market go down. Now interest rate haven't even go up yet. Okay. Okay, guys. Dollar cost averaging, I will cover tonight also. Okay. I will cover everything tonight. Uh. We will cover market sector. We will cover dollar cost averaging. We will cover uh, inflation. We will cover everything. Okay. Um, tonight. Ken, because now got the work, right? 7.30 tonight. Okay, please. Invite your friend, okay? Uh, it depends on whether I want to do this again. Uh, depend on how many people, how many likes I get tonight, okay? If got a lot of people, then I do again. Uh. If not, then uh, do one time and don't do it. <laughs> no motivation to do. <laughs> okay, the link is... Where's the link? Here. Okay, the link is here. Uh, in under the Facebook page. Okay, I, I I post up the link in the public group. Okay, and then I post up the link here. I I know myself. Eh? I I feel happy uh, when I contribute. You know, I feel happy when I when I help people. I feel very happy. When I like not effective, uh, and I think, oh, it's it. <laughs> don't do don't, don't do for what. <laughs> I know myself, eh? okay? So, uh, I think, oh, a lot of people benefiting. Uh, I really feel very motivated. <laughs> okay, if not, then thank you very much, guys. Uh, appreciate all of you all for being here. Public, thanks for uh, being here. Uh, if you are uh, someone that's not an SMT graduate, uh, not an SMT graduate, I invite you to come and join us in our community, okay? Uh, where we chit chat, everything is transparent. Uh, uh, at least, I guarantee you, you will know my view. Lah. may not be the right view, but you will know my view of whether the market is going up or down. Okay, You will know very black and white whether the market is going up or down according to the different time frame. Oh, 7.30 tonight. Okay. If not, then thank you very much, guys. See you tonight. Bye.